Hello YouTube. Um, so I just wanted to cover the topic of adjusting the shift cable on uh, an OMC Cobra. This is a uh, 5 liter Chevrolet uh, OMC Cobra. And uh, as you can see, the shift uh, pivot lever here is adjusted right in the middle. Now, the reason why you want to do this is to give yourself leeway to be able to uh, either make the shift cable move uh, a lot or a little. So in other words, you either get a, a shallow shift or a deep shift. So um, <clears throat> a lot of times what ends up happening though is if you change the position of that, you'll also change when the, um, the ESA switches will operate. It's not that big of a difference. I mean, actually, if you look at the top one, the uh, top adjustment is pretty much non-adjustable. There's a little bushing behind here. As you can see, that rubs against the ES, uh, TS, TSA, <laughs> the ESA switches, but the, uh, the lower switch is adjustable. So, um, and that's the one that gives us the uh, interrupt. So that can always be changed as well. Usually you don't want to mess around with this for any reason. Um, if you're having problems with shifting, usually it's going to be due to some other factors like a stretch cable. Um, it could be the bell crank. Uh, the hole that's drilled in the bell crank might have um, too deep of a a countersink so that it would end up making the um, the lever that pulls the bell crank in the stern housing pivot uh, have play and if you have play back there then obviously you know the shifter is not going to be moving one way or the other as much as it could uh, this particular one wasn't going into forward all the way so I can get into reverse but not forward and come to find out that the um, the uh, lever for the bell crank, the rivet, had worked its way loose, and the um, the countersink was too deep in the um, the bell crank itself. So I replaced the bell crank that had a shallow countersink and uh, put a different lever on it that didn't have a loose rivet in it, and uh, that seemed to fix the problem. So now I'm going to go ahead and adjust this and. Uh, We'll see how that goes, all right?